Welcome back, everybody, to Ultimate CNFT. Mike, aka Mr. Ultimate, here with you today. And we're going to be talking about a project. It's a project, but they have all kinds of other releases that have to do with this project. It's time for them to be re-highlighted. This is going to be an update. I, I did a full dedicated video on this project probably about a month ago or so. We'll check it out. But anyways, two of their projects have jumped right in to the top 12. Let's check them out. We're talking about Book Token. Keep an eye on everything that Book Token or Book Dot io is doing they're releasing these books these nft books that you can actually read they've got different covers the different art different rarities all kinds of stuff um look the, this project is onto something very very special uh and the, the floor prices and the action are starting to show so before we even jump into clicking on the gutenberg bible which is where we're going to start let's just enter book dot io and see all the things that come up so we've got meditations that was um, the one i think you can get uh, that was at the CNFT con. So we got Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. We've got the Heretic, which was just released a couple days ago. We've got the uh, Metamorphosis, and um, we've got the, your reality is a dot dot dot. That's for the uh, the one for the the Ape Society author or whatever. We've got the Metallic uh, Monsters or whatever that one is. But uh, what I really want to start with here, like I said before, was uh, the Gutenberg Bible. So let's go book. Uh, let's go Gutenberg Bible. All right, book token, Gutenberg. All right, these things are at a floor of almost 2K. And there's 10,000 of these total, and there's 1,115 owners. We've got the volume on just this alone, the Bibles alone, is over 800K ADA. Now, I first got into this uh, before I did the video on the dedicated video. I bought one. I bought a 20-something trait Bible. Let's see the properties here real quick. Mm. Okay, they're doing them by individual traits. Anyways, um, yeah, so I bought one of these. I took a jump. I bought one for 1500 And I was like, what the heck am I doing? What is this thing? Because I learned about what was called the drop -inning. Now, the drop is three different phases. Again, I cover all this in detail on my last video on um, the Gutenberg Bible series. So basically, for every one Bible that you hold, you get dropped a free one. You have two. That's in the first round. For the second round, it's the same thing. So for every Bible you hold, in this case, I would have two. You end up with two more, one for one each round. So I ended up with four. I am now sitting on four Gutenberg Bibles. The last round of the dropping is happening at the end of October. And I believe I believe the snapshot is the end of October. So just a few, uh, about 10 days or so here. And then the drops will be taking place on the 1st or the 2nd of November. So basically for every... And the way the math worked out is not every single person is going to get a one for one. So I've got four Bibles, right? For this next drop inning, which is going to bring it up to the total of 10K, for each Bible that I hold, I have a 90% chance of getting a free one. So chances are I'll probably end up with six, maybe seven, maybe eight of these. The point is not even so much to really end up with a free Bible or multiple Bibles. This project is groundbreaking what they're doing here uh with these bibles you can read the whole thing it's on their website you can go you can plug in your wallet with everything you've got in there and you can just sit there and you can actually read i think there's an audio version as well but this is historical nobody on cardano has ever done anything like this as a matter of fact nobody in these in the ethereum world has done something like this i suggest you join their discord and their twitter there's so much information to find out they're basically opening the door for authors to come in and to publish their books as an NFT, a fully readable, fully audio uh, listening uh, with, with different covers and different rarities, full on NFT integration. Okay, now no one has really done this yet. And there's a lot of legal things that were kind of in the way in the beginning, but I think they pretty much have knocked all those down. There's some uh, very important announcements that have been happening on the book.io Discord. We'll go check it out here in a minute. But basically, these Bibles are historical because okay? these are a reflection of the Gutenberg Press, which was the first Western invented uh, printing press plate where they can mass, you know, basically print Bibles, which is what they started with. But uh, it was the it was basically the invention of the printing press. And so, of course, the Gutenberg Bible is historical. There's only so many of these left in the real world, but these guys have done such a good job. They've taken some of these, and you can see it's, they're, they're different covers. They have different traits or whatever. And some of these are actually very, very rare. I know that um, a good friend of mine who watched my old video, I'll, I'll – 
keep him anonymous unless he wants to reveal himself at a later date. But he was watching my video because, oh, yeah, he's a fan of Ultimate uh, CNFT. He's a member of my Discord. By the way, if you're not, come join my Discord. Link will be in the description below. You need to see and be caught up on all the things that I'm doing on Ultimate CNFT because I'm doing nothing but deep diving research and I'm finding some gems. Anyway, so he found that. He went out and he went on a limb and he bought himself a Gutenberg Bible. Well, guess what he got in the dropping? He got the number one ranked Gutenberg Bible. We have no idea what that's worth. I told him, hold on to that thing. That is a piece of history. Oh my gosh. It, it, it makes me feel like almost like I've won a little piece of that too because it was a direct result of my work and my research, putting that out there, getting people ready to know what's coming down the pipe beyond just the hyped projects. If you dig deep enough, there's gems all over the Cardano space. And we're finding them here on Ultimate CNFT. But anyways, back to what I was saying. So the Gutenberg Bible. All right, so the drop is coming up. Still time, you guys, to go on the floor. And these jump pretty quickly. They're right around 2K. You can get a couple of them right now. Uh, and then they start to jump up. And you can see they hit the 2500 mark pretty quickly. And then some of the more rare ones, yeah, they get above the threes really, really quickly. So if you want to get a free Bible, at least have a 90% chance of getting a free one in the next drop -inning, you've got about a week or so left to go pick up one of these. But now it's not just about the Gutenberg Bible. Book.io has a lot of things going on. So let's go jump into their next release. And that was the Monster Series. There's 5,580 items, 970 owners. And the floor is just absolutely popping today. And yesterday started to really go. Floors at 204, volume at 672K. So these are here. There are different kinds we've got a bunch of different themes and the book titles actually is what we're trying to go so we've got beowulf we've got moby dick we've got war of the worlds dracula and i don't see the one on here but we also have frankenstein uh, and basically these are really starting to pop because i think people are starting to realize there's only so many of these the artwork on the covers is actually really 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 good and each one has multiple different ones all the way down to several one of ones per release so the floor on these we got a dracula 204 we got a war of the world's at 205 and it's starting to jump from there you can see there's been a lot of action on these and let's go just jump into the actual activity here on this monster series now i look i am not giving financial advice i am not i own several copies of pretty much most of these here uh, i'm selling some i've sold some i've bought some more uh, i'm holding on to a pretty good stash of these i really do think this is not financial advice this is my opinion and this is what i am doing with this particular project I think that this is something that's going to continue to pump and have its pullbacks and pump and have its pullbacks and pump and pump and go up. But you're talking about historical pieces of, of uh, historical works here, historical, you know, um, authors writing historical books and now they've been NFTized, is sized. Is that a word? NFT is sized, right? Anyways, they're here permanently and there really is only so many. So people are going to want to, I think when they start to discover the Cardano space more, which we're starting to see now, they're going to find something like this and go, whoa, what's going on here? Uh, especially people who are into books, uh, people who are into, you know, uh, whether they're reading bestsellers or classic novels or whatever, the Moby Dick ones are absolutely killing it. I mean, there's going to come a time when you're not going to even see in these, in my personal opinion, for sale. The Moby Dicks are absolutely going crazy. Even the Frankensteins as well. Look at that, 608 of these are just, look at, I'm telling you, this is popping off right now, 10 minutes ago, 17 minutes ago, 22 minutes ago, as of making this video. This is no joke. Beowulf, Moby Dick, 800, Frankenstein, 560. Uh, let's keep going. There's another Moby, I'm telling you, these Moby Dicks, they're going crazy. 1050, another one for a thousand. Uh, Dracula's, you can still get a good price on the floor, right around 200 on any of these, whether you like the title or not. There's another Frank for 600, another Beowulf for 500. Uh, I don't know if they're releasing any more particular monster series or not, because some of the new ones have been putting in their own category. We'll check some of those out here in a few minutes. But we can see the action itself. I'm telling you, see it again. There's another one, another Moby Dick, 1300. I'm telling you, uh, book.io, these monster, these monster series are, this is something special. The Gutenberg Bible is something special. And I apologize for rambling, you guys. This is a fully uncut, unedited video. I'm just excited to get this to you guys as quickly as I can before we absolutely blow up and things go pretty rick, dear brah. So let's go check it out. Um, book. Dot. I oh, let's go check out some of their other ones. Now we'll skip meditations. So Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is pretty much the the cheapest floor you can get into right now. And even this one's starting to climb. Um, so this was a, a release strictly related to Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Of course, another famous novel. 2645, 90110 owners, and um, 39 floor, 77k. This was actually down at 25. 
floor. Uh, yesterday I was looking at this and I couldn't get a video done in time. I had stuff going on, but uh, the floor here is starting to pop on these because people realize that these are super, super undervalued. Again, this is my opinion, but it's also what you start to see here. So um, yeah, I did see a few at the 25 range. Maybe it was 35. I, it could have been 35. But anyways, um, so there's a little bit of the action for you. If you check out some of the items, you can see these covers. The art on these is absolutely incredible. I mean, this is this is some really, really good historical stuff here now uh, put onto an NFT. And you can click and you can find out exactly what you know your traits are. So there's the attributes and variations are 10. You know, the percentages right there, trait count, you, the, the name, the title of the actual uh, several different covers covers for this one, in this case would be the potion. Um, so let's go back on over here and let's go check out some more. Book.io, okay, so we got Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So let's check out the Metamorphosis because this one's starting to pop here too. Now this one actually had, I think, 49 different one of ones. I got lucky enough, I minted one of those. I minted number 0047. That book is actually for sale right now in the open market, but uh, it is a nice looking one of one. These minted for 40 ADA. Now, this was just a couple days ago. The floor price is already up to 75 ADA, and I do expect that this is going to continue to climb because there is only 1,369 items, and so many of these have different uh, covers. There's like so many different book covers. You can also check out their website if you want to get really deep into the detail of you know all the covers and all the stuff that they're doing. You can actually read your their you can read your books on their web website as well. Um, so let's go down here. Let's check out the Heretic. This one just minted actually a couple days ago as well. Uh, I did mint a few of these, so I'm holding on to some of these. The floor is nice at 50. I think these minted for 40 or was it 45? I can't remember. Something like that. Um, but anyways, the Heretic, another you know really famous. Now, I think this was one of the first uh, New York Best Time selling authors. Uh, at least it was the first uh, of them to be on the book.io with many, many more to come. The platform that they're building, they also have a token that's coming too. So if uh, those of you who are interested in tokens, take a look at that. Uh, the platform that they're building, they're basically getting rid of eBooks. There's no need to have an eBook anymore when you have to, you know, you can, you read it, you're done. You got this, the Kindle or whatever it is. And I've never read one of those on there. I don't know how it works, but I think you ended up having to send it back or something after you read it. I don't know, but basically this is the new digital form of being able to hold these books and having super sick artwork to go along with it and some rarity and some value and some collectability to go along with it. These are the kinds of things that really tick my boxes and make me say, okay, I need to take a look at what's going on over here because I'm not even a book reader, you guys, but I'm a collector. So from a collector's eye, I'm seeing something real special here. Um, this one here, there's not too many, uh, you know, uh, big sales, I suppose. We can go check out, you know, the activity right now. And, um, See if the you know which which ones are going. Probably the one of ones. Yeah. See anything zero zero one nine. That's a one of one there, um, and most of them are staying around the 50, 60 range. There's another one of one. Obviously zero zero three four, and. Um, just a lot of good stuff going on with this. And uh, of course, you know, these are some of the ranges that some of the other ones from the Monster Series were in just not that long ago. And you look at those now, as people continue to discover it, they're starting to come in and these floor prices are about three, four, you know, five times what you're looking at right here. And I'm not saying that's gonna happen with this particular mint, uh, but I stacked a few of these it, just in case they just might uh, do so. And, uh, you know, make your own decisions for yourself. Again, not financial advice, but if you have the collector's eye that I have, you're going to see this and go, hmm, maybe I should do a little bit more of my own research on this project and see what I can see. So uh, this is the one that was done with the, uh, it's called Your the, your Reality is a Construction. This was an author. Uh, it was, what's his name? Thorpe Brown. So obviously having something to do with the Ape Society, that's actually pretty cool just to see them working the way that is. And you can see the way these are going. Some of the prices are pretty much uh, around the floor price or so. Started up there and kind of cruised down. You probably could have picked some of these up for 30 ADA and now look at them, they're back. You know, you've doubled your money already. So um, again, I'm not saying that's gonna happen with this particular one, but it is a possibility. So another book released on book.io. Let's go check out this last one here before I wrap this up. And where did it go? I think it's the metal, yeah, the metal monsters. Now, this is the one I didn't, I actually didn't mint this one. I was uh, I was out of town at the time this one minted. I probably am going to pick myself up a few of these because the floor right now is at 46. So 1,730 items, 689 owners. Um, this is actually pretty cool. If we look at the, uh, we're at the activity, yes, around 55, 55, 45, 75. 
Um, so there's some rarities here. You can go hunting for some of those rarities or you can collect, you know, as many as you want, 105. So, you know, not as much action uh, price range. But if you see we're halfway down the page, let's get to the bottom of the page here. Yeah, we're at the bottom of the page. We're not even at 24 hours. So basically everything book.io is starting to really pump and really take hold. I think people are really interested in you know, what these guys are going to provide both now and in the future, especially as more and more people start to release their famous books on to the NFT platform. And this is Cardano, baby, we're talking about. Oh, yeah, where the cream is really starting to rise to the top. You see what's happening in Cardano. Big things are happening all over the place. We're actually in the midst of an absolute explosion in Cardano. And I love to see it. I've got some more update videos coming for you guys next week. In fact, I'm going to be featuring the Ape Society. Keep an eye on that. We've got a new king in town. It's the Ape Society. Oh, yeah. Let's check it out. So, anyways, if I was to come in here, I would probably pick out maybe some of the ones I like the most. I really do like this cover here. I like that one right there too. And uh, this one's kind of cool. Reminds me of an old Transformer I used to play with when I was a kid called Metroplex. Uh, that was fun stuff. But anyways, um, yeah, so you can see that there's some really good things going on with book.io. And, um, you know, I'll tell you what, I'm not even going to jump into their Discord. What I'm going to do is I'm going to entice you to jump on there yourself. Go become a member of their Discord. In fact, I'll leave, just to make it easy on you, I'll leave the Discord link in the description below right next to my own Discord link for Ultimate CNFT. And you can go in there and you can check everything out for yourself. You can find out if you're interested in getting one of those Bibles and be, uh, be ready for the drop -inning. You can also be ready to know when their upcoming book releases are coming because they've got more. Um, there's, there's more on the way. They're not stopping here. They're building a huge platform. They're getting their token ready to come out here and do something special in the world of NFTs. And I just wanted to highlight that for you guys here on Ultimate Scene of Two because I appreciate every single one of you who likes and subscribes and follows my channel. Please leave some uh, comments below and uh, I'd love to interact with you. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if this is helping you discover this project like I did for my one friend and he ended up with a huge score. We don't even know what the value of that book's gonna be. but uh, And let me know what you think of the future of this and let me know if you think this is good for car Cardano, this is good for, you know, ebooks, basically the next evolution of NFTs. And uh, by the way, if you have not liked and subscribed, please do so and check out my Discord, guys. You might want to join my Tier 3 paid subscription membership club video. You want to watch that. You want to see what I'm doing. I'm giving all kinds of stuff away. Oh, yeah, whitelist NFTs, throwing them at you like it's like it's raining, like it's like it popping like it's hot. Let's go. I'm excited. Can't wait to share more with you guys. Peace.